So the diagram shows uh, LDR and thermistor forming a potential divider. Yeah, because the potential is shared out between both of them. That's what we call a potential divider. We'll see more of this in chapter 20. Okay, here it is. Under which set of conditions will the potential difference across the thermistor? Which one the thermistor can recognize? Ah? Must remember the symbols, ah? Okay, the circuit symbols. You must know which is which. Thermistor. So this one, you're trying to measure what's the potential difference across it. Have the greatest value. When will this have the greatest value? Hmm. So, potential difference, ah? We're looking at potential difference. Potential difference if, say, for example, if this is 9 volts, then your 9 volts will be divided across these two. If this one is 3 volts, this one is 6 volts. If this one is... What else can we have? 4.5 volts, this one is 4.5 volts. Maximum only 9 volts, ma, so they have to share out according to their resistance. So, our... The, the uh, uh, LDR, this one, LDR, will have some potential difference, but we want to look for the purple one. When is the purple one the greatest? <clears throat> this is where we have to crack our heads to think a bit. So you want to say that uh, because this one has bigger potential means this one must be much bigger than the orange one. So greatest value that occurs when the resistance uh, let's use R. R of thermistor okay, is much larger than the, or not much larger, just larger than the, what's the other one? The resistance of your LDR. Ah, this is the first important hint. Your R of thermistor must be much bigger compared to your R of LDR. So that means you have to think of when is your thermistor resistance very big? Hmm, think of it. So, you think, remember, high R means cold. Very cold, then the, then the resistance of this one will be very high. Then the LDR, when is the resistance very small? Okay, because this one has to be small R, or smaller la, small R. This one has to be a big R. When is LDR very small? Then you have to think of light, lor. So, small r occurs when it's very bright or your illumination or light intensity is very high. So based on these ideas, now you go and see. Thermistor have to be cold, so temperature have to be low. So these two out already. Yes. This one wrong. LDR have to be bright. That means illumination must be high. So that leaves us with B. Not low, not low. And B is how you can decide this one. Okay, if you kind of find like, Miss, I'm kind of mind blown at the moment. It's okay, take your time to go through this. Rewatch this segment 10 times if you need to. Ask a friend, post some questions in the questions channel.